as he's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that and continuing to let him throw the football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. his first carry and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him. There's a loss of a yard so what they deal with third and one. That play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing. Huh? I like that. That sets up a very difficult third down call now. Diggs going in motion right. Throwing his Allen on third. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now a play fake, Brady. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worth this all yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? Brady going to go on fourth down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And how about this for a setup? The ball will go over on downs at the one-yard line. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. They run here with Singletary. And he is going to lose yardage here. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Now Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw that tight coverage, you see what happens. It's hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it was an interceptor. Allen now on third and goal. This is caught. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After 
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they fail. Now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Hey. On play action, it's Brady. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. This is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. to the air, Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defense been dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Down inside the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Singletary again. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up the third down. He can rack up those tackles and bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Eluding the pressure right. They'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Throwing again on second down. Allen, they'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility. the first on the scramble. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Taken from about the 12. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Brady. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. It's so rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. So after the INT, it's Allen sliding out of the pocket. Throws the L route, and he's got it complete to Hines. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. 
But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. They'll run on first down with Singletary. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Knox there, complete. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Play action. Now it's Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. From the five, second and four. Now receiver in motion left. To throw again on second down. Allen, he'll check this down to Hines. Touchdown, Bills! Naeem Hines in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12 yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Tyler Bass for the kickoff for Buffalo. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? Taken from about the 12. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Fournette once more on second down. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 
14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go round. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Fournette on the counter. And a very short pick up there across the 15 to the 16. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Complete right side to Otten. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Old 50. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Teron Johnson able to pick it. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there. And there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. Here's Allen on first and ten. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. They had a great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Allen now looks to throw. The quick slant caught. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. kicker he looks like he's gonna throw it and this one's incomplete another not asking me but I'll give you my opinion anyway I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet I guess they figure with the big lead they can experiment a little bit but all in all just go ahead and put that play on ice taken from about the 12 and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 the Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Second and five now. Brady. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers, both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass.
They'll go for it. It's Brady. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to have the short field.